Hello and welcome to the Pharmaceutical Calculations Workshop. This is Michael Dankwa from RX Calculations. So I just simply like to once again welcome you to the Pharmaceutical Calculations Workshop. This workshop is composed of 25 strategically selected questions and these questions are to help you get a handle on the type of calculations questions that you are most likely to um, need in practice but also for your NAPLEX board exams. Now in this particular workshop the questions are categorized into six parts and these six parts basically um, reflect the pattern that you need in the NAPLEX blueprint. Okay, so the first part really is more or less of a introduction to the just a reminder of the basics that you would need. So here we just cover conversions and day supply. And the, the idea here is to remind you or expose you once again to using ratios, proportions, and so on and so forth. The remaining parts, that's from parts two to six, are basically um, organized following the NAPLEX blueprint. So Part two talks about parental nutrition and that correlates with the first part of the calculations requirements in the NAPLEX blueprint. You have part three, which is basically giving you a snapshot of soft questions on dilutions and concentrations, pH and buffers, and the ratio strength. And then in part four, we, we look at some examples from milliequivalence, equivalence, osmolarity, isotonicity and reconstitution of powders. In part 5, we just look at a quick example on reducing and enlarging formulas. And in part 6, we look at a number of examples on flow rate calculations. So that's the six parts, um, how the 25 questions are organized in this workshop. The approach that we're going to be using um, for the step-by-step -step solution is going to be in four parts and it's very similar to Paul Yes' approach for problem solving. What we do is for each problem or each um, question that we take a look at, we analyze the question. We take a look at the question, try and reverse engineer it or deconvolute it and the whole goal here is to help you or help understand the various processes that you can use to understand the question better. If you have a very clear understanding of the question, the solution almost is easier to arrive at. After you've analyzed the question completely, what we try to do is guide as to how you can formulate the plan to solve the question. So first you analyze the question, understand the problem, and then formulate a plan. And hopefully that plan is the one that would allow you to get your solution in the most expeditious manner. Okay. Then after analyzing and formulating the plan, analyzing the question, formulating the plan, we then execute the plan. Okay, so you will go through all the various steps that are pertinent to arrive at the solution. And once we've arrived at the solution, we try and reflect on the entire process. We just highlight all the key components that are required or that we just went through to arrive at the solution. So that's the approach that we're going to be using. I just want to real quick let you have a glimpse at how it looks like. So I'm going to get out of this uh, presentation and we'll go online. So when you first come, you would basically be, um, this is the first page you're going to see. So this is a free, uh, free calculations workshop right now. You have 25 strategically selected questions um, the intro video is going to be right here and one of the things that is going to happen is whilst you do the calculations you will notice that you need a lot of equations hopefully you know all of them but if you don't you probably want to have a whole list of them where you can refer to in your learning process and then ultimately use that learning time to memorize the equations now, if you don't have time to do all that organization, we have basically um, compiled and uh, organized the 
in what we feel are the pregnant equations, conversion factors, and so forth that you need for the board exam. So when you click on this particular button, it takes you to the page, and then you can also basically take a look at it. It's a three-page document. It has 56 um, equations. It also has 44 conversion factors, and then the yeah, number of steps for solving some of the problems like tonicity, isotonicity and so forth and there are about 18 of those and basically it covers 28 uh, calculations topics and that's essentially all the topics you really need for the NAPLES board exams. But anyhow, once you are in this particular page, you then see the six parts and you are welcome to do this at your own pace. We highly recommend if you really read the language at the top. We recommend that you um, basically give yourself some time so they can concentrate and do it. So there are six parts. Each part has a number of questions depending on the topic. This is not a real class. This is more or less kind of like a workshop, more of a practice session because I believe practice is what you need to really firm up your technique. So if you click, you want to click on the language there. So you just click on conversions. That's part one. And here, we once again we recommend that you turn off all your notifications because this is kind of like an um, in-depth workshop. So you want to benefit as much as you can from the material that is presented here. Um, so for this particular part, you have um, yeah, you have about three questions on conversions and you have one on day supply. So what you want to do, for example, is you just click on the video and um, they are relatively, we try to do like a micro tutorial, so no okay. more than seven to eight um, minutes for We have another question here. Um, the so question reads, it's a little bit it's small this way, so what you want to do is augmenting 85 milligrams PO that's uh, by mouth. I'm just going to turn off the audio. All right, so once it's larger, you can, um, I'm the you can basically go through the presentation. We try to go step by step so you can see each. Um, so that's part of the analysis. This is what we are looking for in this question. Um, and then you basically will want to watch to the end. You are, you are free to pause it. And I really highly recommend that you want to pause it so that if you need to catch up or um, write some notes down, this is a good time. You could do that. Okay. So that's for the conversions. If we go to part two, you have one question so on TPN, so total parental nutrition. And this question really is um, one that synthesizes a lot of information. So as you go through it, you would basically be reminded of things like I do body weight calculation and how that becomes pertinent. Okay. In part three, you have dilutions and concentrations, and there are a total of five questions in this section. So you have three examples on uh, dilutions and concentrations. You have one on ratio strength, and then you have one on pH and buffers. Okay. So that's for part three. For part four, part four covers milliequivalents, osmolarity, isotonicity, and reconstitution of powders. Part four has a total of 10 questions, okay? Because, I mean, it's just that those are the topics that fall under that category based on the NAPLEX blueprint, like I was saying. So we have three, we have four examples for milliequivalents. We have two examples for osmolarity, you have one example for isotonicity, um, two for reconstitution, three for reconstitution of powder. So a total of 10. So this is a lot of good stuff in this particular section. Part five is really just one question and is illustrating how you could um, determine the ingredient of a component in the formulation record. So it's, it falls under the reducing and enlarging of formula. So um, it's fairly simple, but it's also highly important. And then the last part deals with flow rate, which is one of the high frequency calculations topics on the NAPLEX board exams. 
And in this section, um, we have four questions, four very interesting examples of flow rate calculations. Okay. So as you go through each of these, uh, for we, we follow our approach like I mentioned earlier, and we typically try to use dimensional analysis for most of the problems because we find that students, once they've mastered this technique, really never or hardly get a question wrong because the units are able to serve as a guide in terms of arriving at the solution. Okay. So hopefully this workshop helps you bring all the information together if you're getting ready for the board exams. As you know, the calculations component is no more multiple choice. You really now have to put in an answer. So you can't really guess if you are kind of stranded. And if you are using this material at the big, as you matriculate through your program, hopefully this helps you have a strong understanding, helps you get ready for your exams in the program and ultimately you are better prepared for your board exams. I hope you enjoy going through this um, pharmaceutical calculations workshop.